Welcome back for the last installment of our series on lengthening the spine. For this last shape I'm gonna show you in this series, uh, this is a nice relaxed place to be, but it does require laying on our bellies. So if laying on your belly is not comfortable for you or if you're pregnant, um, then you may not wanna do this one. But if you can lay on your belly, it's a wonderful pose. So for this, I'd love for you to have two blankets if you can. Uh, yoga blankets are nice just because they're kind of thick, but you could also use beach towels or even one big towel and one hand towel or washcloth works just fine. And then I would also like you to have a bolster, but if you don't have a yoga bolster, you can also just use a couple of pillows, like regular bed size pillows. Just something that's a little bit denser or higher up than, than like one soggy pillow <laughs> is what I want you to have. So some density. So then once you've got all these props gathered, I would like you to roll one of your blankets or uh, towels, whatever you're using. Place that at the bottom of your mat or towards where your feet are gonna go. My ankles are gonna go on top of that eventually. And then the bolster or pillows, whatever you're using for this, is gonna go lengthwise on your mat. And then the second blanket or washcloth or towel is gonna go up above that. So I'm gonna come on down to my belly. Ankles are supported with the rolled up blanket, belly and chest are supported with the bolster or pillows. And then my forehead is supported by the folded blanket. And my arms, this is a kind of funny, I, I think it's not comfortable to have the arms down here so I like to have them tucked under my blanket. Or you could even just stack your hands underneath your forehead. That can feel really nice too, especially if your bolster is not too high. So any of those options, but arms in kind of a, a soft cactus or goalpost pose. Forehead resting. I want to make sure I have enough space here for my throat. I don't want to be... I don't want to be here cutting off my air supply. I want to have some space there. And then with my forehead resting, <sighs> my chest and belly resting and supported, my feet resting, I want to then just focus on my breathing. <laughs> Can you tell I'm already relaxed? It's so soothing. With this gentle compression of the front side of the body, this position encourages the breath to move towards the back side of the body. So the back ribs in particular are gonna feel a little bit more expansive. And also the position of the body and the breath encourages just a general lengthening kind of the whole whole back side of the spine. So back of neck, all the way down along the spine to the, to the low back and the pelvis. And then you can just stay here for like, you know, an hour <laughs> or, or whatever, maybe just five minutes, maybe two minutes. Maybe you turn on your favorite song and just stay here for the duration of that song. It doesn't take too long. Um, for me anyway, to feel really relaxed here. And then when you come up and out of it, whenever it's time, I encourage just to take it, take it slow. So my hands are going to come down by my shoulders or side ribs and engage a little bit my shoulders, keep my belly alert, and then press back. That's the hardest part, <laughs> is pressing up and out of it. And then I like to come to either a moment of just tabletop, maybe even a, some cycles of cat-cow or some gentle circles with the hips. If you have spinal fusion, cat-cow is, you know, that's a, that's a very subtle pose. So it could just be a gentle moving sideways or side to side. You could also take a, a brief child's pose as long as that feels good. Um, sometimes a child's pose can can be a little too much after that position, but go with what feels good. Keep it gentle however you transition out. And that's it.
face down shavasana or tadpole pose. One of my all-time favorites. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time.